One of the easiest ways to build a successful business team is by finding the right people to work with. Building your dream team. Those people that will propel you further than you could ever imagine. And today, I'm gonna share with you some tips on how to find the right people, create a positive work environment, and foster collaboration. What's a successful business team? A successful business team is one that is able to achieve its goals. This means that the team members are working together effectively. They are motivated and engaged, and they are producing high quality work. So how do you build a successful business team? I'm gonna share with you some simple tips that you can take to heart in building your successful business team. But before we do that, I had the opportunity to spend some time with Art to grill him, hopefully pulling some gems of wisdom from his experience of building a Fortune 500 company. Okay, Art, so we're talking about team building. Team building. Team building and um, how important it is to create a successful company. Wow. You know, you can't have a successful company without a great team. Right. People that work together, yep. click yep. together. In fact, I actually um, have a fondness for using personality profiles uh -huh. to, to help. You know, I, I first discovered personality profiles. I was um, working with a company and they said, before we hire you, we want you to take a personality test. Uh -huh. And that was the business they were in. They yeah. were in the business of personality testing. Yeah. And I was like, really? I have to take a test before you hire me? And they said, no, no, no. We don't want you to take the test. We've already decided to hire you. We want to know how to work with you. I yeah. thought, oh, wow, that's yeah. really interesting. Yeah. And so what they do is they take these personality tests and they map out people's personalities. And then they tell you how to work together. Like, hey, Eric is this kind of guy or Art's that kind of guy. Yeah. And so I might know, hey, under stress, Eric is going to turn into a crazy man, so yeah. I need to be prepared for that. Um, so personality profiles is a great way to start relationships with a new team, especially. Uh -huh. You know, uh, dynamics of people can ruin a team. Yeah. Um, you know, people also, um, when you build a team, they need to be clued in to the purpose, the vision, the mission, and they need to acknowledge and buy into that. Yeah. It needs to be as much their idea as your idea and yeah. you can tell whether people are bought in or not you can see it in their yeah. eyes you know you can tell by the way they act and um you know i think um it's a slow to hire quick to fire yeah. kind yeah. of a thing yeah. right if you recognize that somebody's not on board i think it's always best to kick them loose and you know yeah you think about team building and sometimes it's team pruning uh-huh because if you get a bad person on a team, not only are they bad, but they can infect yeah, other people yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. That's a real problem. So you're, in your experience of um, like, you know, with Texas Rock Gym and then you're building that the AC business, right? Consolidation company. Consolidation yeah, company. Yeah. So, so yeah, how, how important was it to, for, 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 like for the Texas Rock Gym for you to have that team in place? And, and then how do you build it? I mean, I, I've noticed that you've had the same people there working for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you have Alan, Renee, um, Roger, you know, they've been there for a long time. You know, I, I guess I'm entitled to some credit for that, but uh -huh. I'm not sure I understand why. <laughs> 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 Probably has a lot more to do with the fact that uh, they enjoy the work. Yeah. They enjoy the people. It's certainly not the compensation. And that's an interesting, uh, an interesting aspect uh -huh. to it as well is here we have this team of people who are so loyal and dedicated to the Texas Rock Gym. Yeah. None of them are terribly well compensated yeah. in, the, in the big scheme of things. Yeah. So it's probably pretty bad compensation. Yeah. But they do it as much for the quality of life and the connections and, and the fulfillment as they do for the money. Yeah. And that's a very interesting aspect of yeah. building a team. Yeah. And it comes back to that whole idea of buying in and feeling like you're a part of something, yeah. feeling like your coworkers are part of the same yeah. thing. Yeah. So you can't just throw money at it. I suppose you can. Private equity, venture uh -huh. capitalists, yeah, yeah. you know, they throw money at stuff. Yeah. They throw titles. Yeah. at jobs, yeah. right? So I go hire some guy that's got the right title. But, but you know, when money drives the bus, I think you're disconnected from the emotional aspect yeah. of building a team yeah. and building a company. Yeah. And I suppose it all comes down a lot of times to the motivation of the money. Yeah. And, you know, in a private equity funded deal, 
the money is motivated to exit in five years, yeah. right? So they can yeah. turn the money because that's how they yeah. get paid. Yeah. Um, they're less inclined to come in and start dealing with the personalities in the business yeah. and trying to build a long-term success story. Yeah. So as a, like, look at Texas Rock Gym, yeah. 27 years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So when people come to work for Texas Rock Gym, they know they're getting on board a stable platform. Yeah. Versus, you know, other types of companies that might not feel so stable, you know, more of a transitional type lily yeah. pad kind yeah. of a role. You know, I watched, <clears throat> I watched this interview with uh, FedEx, King, FedEx Kinko's founder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's Smith. A, He's a billionaire, right? Smith, his name is Smith. No, right? I can't remember what his, yeah. I can't remember, but I, I just watched the. I was, you know, I've watched so many YouTube videos. You know, I'm, I'm always doing research on YouTube videos <laughs> to make better YouTube videos. <laughs> You're making videos, I yeah. guess. You can, you can you can call watching YouTube as um, what, job uh, performance skill enhancement yeah. or something yeah. of that nature. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, and and it, what impressed me was that he said that, in, you know, it, it was all about hiring the right people to manage the stores. And then he would he would think he hired a really good person with all the credentials, the degrees, and all that stuff. And then, um, but the store wouldn't do that good. And then he thought it was the location, so he would pull that guy out and put him in a more successful location. Yeah, right. And then that location would go down. Yeah. 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 And then he discovered that he would put a good manager in a bad location, and that store would do good. You know, I think this all comes back to that whole idea of personality testing. Yeah. Because what you can do is, especially in a big company yeah. where you start having multiple locations like a yeah. FedEx Kinko's, yeah. um, you can test your successful managers, yeah. come up with the, the profile of a successful manager and say, yeah. I want more of those. And so yeah. when you do your hiring, yeah, yeah. you run them through this thing and you say, okay, this is the profile for a successful manager. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you hit all these four criteria, but yeah. you're, you're crappy with people yeah. or you, you don't do good at, at building teams yeah. or yeah. whatever. Yeah. And, and so, um, you know, it comes down to garbage in, garbage out. Yeah. You can hire based on resumes, but personalities kind of win the day when it comes to team building. Yeah. Right? So, so what would you say are the three key things for, in your experience, you know, like the three key ingredients to finding a good team member? I, I think I might argue with the word finding as uh -huh. opposed to hiring. <clears throat> Same thing. Yeah, yeah. Hi hiring. It's not. Hiring. I mean, finding is one thing. <laughs> hiring is something else, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and in terms of hiring them, uh, you know, I think, again, it comes back down to a, a personality fit yeah. as, 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 as is important as a resume fit yeah. for the job description is a personality fit yeah. with the team. Um, I think, um, you know, a lot of times people do these uh, these group interviews. Yeah. I don't know whether that works or not. Yeah. Um, you know, building consensus is really hard. It's easy to say no, hard to for, you know, get everybody on board. Yeah. But I suppose if everybody says yes, then if the guy fails, at least you've got plausible deniability. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if there's three key secrets or not. Yeah. I, you know, I, 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 you know, I think there's a lot of gut feel that goes yeah. into it. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe, maybe if you're not good at it, maybe find a friend who is good and bring somebody else in to yeah. help you interview yeah. people and, you know, get a, a, yeah. a sense of them. And like I said, and lastly, I think, um, slow to hire, quick to fire yeah. is also very important because yeah. you're not going to win every hire. Yeah. You've got to kiss some frogs. Yeah. You're always going to kiss frogs. Yeah. And sooner or later, you know, you got to call a frog a frog because it yeah. didn't turn into a prince <laughs> when you hired it. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder who coined that because I, I, I know... I've heard Warren Buffett say that. Well, there was a story. It was the princess and the, the I mean, wasn't there a story about a princess that went out. Kissing to, the frogs? Or, 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 she wanted, yeah, to yeah, find yeah, her yeah, prince, yeah, okay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kiss me and I'll be yeah. your prince. Yeah, yeah. And, ha, 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 fooled you. <laughs> but thanks for the kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, you know, getting back to that Warren Buffett thing, I heard Warren Buffett actually say that. Like he said, be quick to fire and slow to hire. Yeah. 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 It, yeah because um, when you recognize that you've got a bad apple, yeah. it only makes the other apples bad yeah. sooner or later. So yeah. better to get off. You know what I tell people when I fire them? What's that? I say, you know what? You're a great person. Uh -huh. I hired you because I liked you and yeah. I, I thought your skills and whatever were a good fit for yeah. the job. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think we both recognize that uh -huh. this isn't working out yeah. so yeah. well. And yeah. so, you know, I'd rather let you go on a positive note. Yeah. I'd rather give you um, my best advice yeah. for your next position, maybe even give you a, a reference for your next position. Yeah, but yeah. you're just going to be that much closer to success 
in your career yeah. by getting away from this bad opportunity yeah. that's yeah. not a good fit for yeah. you or me. Yeah. And it's going to put me in a position to put somebody else in this position so I can progress yeah. as well. So it's a win-win yeah. if you want to let it be a win-win. Yeah. If you want to make it a bad thing and yeah. you know get all upset and everything and steal some pencils right. out of the supply closet, right. then... In your AC business, like when you were doing the... the, the, the it was a roll-up, a consolidation. A consolidation. Mechanical contractors. Did yeah. you ever, did you fire a lot of people? Um, no. No, okay. Because we were growing so fast, we yeah. couldn't afford to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think we probably had a lot of people in positions who maybe, but you know, the truth be told is we were buying successful companies. Yeah. And so, you know, we were a holding company and we had a bunch of accountants and people running numbers and things like yeah, that. Yeah. But for the most part, we bought good companies. Yeah. We empowered those people. Now, I will say that every company that we bought, we went and we looked at that leadership team yeah. and we, we talked to them yeah. with a clean slate. Mm -hmm. You know, the owner sometimes has this, you know, the blinders yeah. on, right? Yeah. He sees what he sees. Yeah. I've been working with Eric for years. I know Eric. Well, then yeah. somebody else might come in and say, holy shit, did you know that Eric can do dot, 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 dot? Yeah. No, I didn't know that at all, really. Yeah. And, and, and you open up all kinds of possibilities to bring mid-level managers into senior level positions to yeah. grow a company. Because yeah. if you don't set yourself up for growth, yeah. you get stagnant. Yeah. You get stuck. Hmm. That's interesting. That must have been fun for you. Consolidation, yeah, buying companies yeah, yeah. was a lot of fun. You that learn an awful yeah, lot about yeah, businesses when you yeah, buy them. Yeah, yeah. Because um, when you go into a business to buy it, um, the owner wants you to buy his company. Yeah. And he wants so, to cash out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, so, you know, a lot of times they'll say, oh, well, you know, I'm not interested yeah. or whatever, but they're interested. Yeah. Okay, so I promised you some tips, and here they are. Number one, hire the right people. When you're hiring new team members, it's important to find people who are a good fit for your company culture and who have the skills and experience necessary to do the job. Number two, create a positive work environment. A positive work environment is one where team members feel supported and valued. This means creating an environment where people feel comfortable taking risks, sharing ideas, and giving and receiving feedback. Number three, foster collaboration. Collaboration is essential for any successful team. This means encouraging team members to work together, share ideas, and help each other out. Number four, set clear goals and expectations. It's important for team members to know what is expected of them. This means setting clear goals and expectations and providing regular feedback. Number five, celebrate successes. When team members achieve their goals, it's important to celebrate their successes. This will help to keep them motivated and engaged. Building a successful business team takes time and effort, but it's worth it. A strong team can help you achieve your goals and grow your business. I'm gonna give you a few more additional tips, but before I continue, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to The Art of Business for more videos. Here are some additional tips for building a successful business team. Be clear about your vision for the team and how it will contribute to the success of the business. Provide training and development opportunities for team members so that they can continue to learn and grow. Create a culture of trust and respect where team members feel comfortable sharing ideas and taking risks. Be flexible and adaptable as the team and the business evolve. I hope that these tips are gonna help you build a successful business team.